Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky. So I got my internet working long enough to record this video. Um, and I have some good news. I'm getting a new internet tomorrow, so or later today, sometime. So basically tomorrow I should be able to actually start playing RS again, which is pretty good news for me. I'm excited. I've somewhat missed this game. Regrettably, I have missed it. I uh, have missed being able to play. But anyway, in the short time that my internet has been up, I have been doing some ports, and I have something pretty exciting to show you guys. So if I go to my internet, or my uh, my inventory, excuse me, I now have full superior Tetsu. So I'm pretty psyched about that. And I think it looks pretty awesome. So of course it took a very, very long time for me to save up for this, a lot longer than most people. I think I've been doing ports for about six months. It's not like I log on twice a day and do the absolute maximum amount of voyages possible, but I have been um, working on that ports. I've been trying to do voyages every day. As long as I'm not busy and as long as my internet has been, been behaving, I have gotten on at least once a day and done those voyages. So I now have um, full superior Tetsu, which means that I can probably start doing some PvE. I mean, possibly solo Corp Beast is something I've been thinking about. Um, maybe some necks as well, of course. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, I think it looks awesome. So, of course, this armor has much better defense than the Bandos that I have been wearing. And I believe it takes about 12 hours to degrade, and it costs only like 2 mil to repair. So, um, it's not the most expensive armor in the world, and it's going to be really good for doing some PVM. I'm definitely going to try out some Solo Corp and see how that goes. I think if you have full superior Tetsu, it's not too difficult, and it definitely is manageable. So, anyway, um, the other thing is this golden baby chinchampa thing so apparently you're you're supposed to feed it and it grows over time just like any other kind of pet um but i don't think that i can feed it because you're supposed to have more of this um chinchampa food which you can either of course get off the school of fortune or from skilling but uh, i have not been skilling i've been doing a bit of divination but i believe that divination doesn't give any of this chinchampa food so it's kind of just a waste for me um but anyway i if you can get a lot of money from this thing if it ends up giving you like several mil i guess i'll never know because i'm not actually going to be probably using this uh golden chinchampa but i anyway i did get one um but we're just going to stash that in the bank from now so I figured what I would do today, since um, I haven't really had anything planned since I haven't been on, is I would just go over my bank since it's been a really long time since I did any sort of bank video. So for any of you that are interested in uh, what my bank looks like, because I really haven't shown it for very a very long time other than just going into my bank shortly during videos, um, I guess we could make this kind of a bank video. So in my first tab, I keep all the junk, pretty much, um, all the Squeal of Fortune stuff and stuff that I don't really have any other use for, like the... Uh, baby chinchampa food and all that stuff. I also keep my captain's log, ring of kinship, and six age circuit in here because I use those all the time. But everything else in here um, is pretty much just junk stuff that I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Um, I have my constructor's gear and my mud battle staff here because uh, I was planning on using those for livid farm to finish up the livid farm. However, the way things are going, obviously I need to get 99 divination first before I start working on any other completionist cape requirements. So um, I'm not going to be going back to Livid Farm anytime soon, regrettably. But as soon as I get close to 120 to engineering, because as long as I keep playing this game, I will eventually get the completionist cape. I know I've been putting it off a lot. Um, I'll go back to Livid Farm probably when I'm like 118 or 119 to engineering, something like that. And in this next tab here, we have my farming tab. So I do plant yew and papaya saplings every day. As soon as these run out, which won't be for a long time, it'll be a couple months before I use these up. But once they do run out, I'm going to be planting magic and palm saplings. Um, I do have kind of a goal of 200 mil farming one day. Of course, that just completely depends on real life. I can't say for sure that I'll never quit this game. Um, I do enjoy playing this game, not all the time, but sometimes, so um, I would prefer to not quit. However, uh, there is real life that I have to worry about as well, so if I end up, I don't know, getting married in a year or so or something crazy like that, I probably won't be able to play too much RS. So I'll just say, provided that I don't quit this game for quite a long time, I may one day get 200 mil farming, so that's what I like to work at. Farming is probably my favorite skill along with Slayer. I really enjoy those two. So as you can see, I have a ton of buckets and plant pots here. I haven't actually purchased any of these, so I have 5.5k uh, buckets and about 3.2k plant pots that I've all received from farming. That is how many trees and herbs that I have planted. I have planted a lot, I know. Um, 
and most of the super compost I didn't actually buy. I got a lot of that from automatons because I camped automatons for like 25 hours. So I got a ton of super compost from them. That's why I have so much super compost. I'm not like merching super compost or anything, so don't worry about that. Although I have merged super compost in the past. I actually made a ton of money off a of super compost merch, but that was a long time ago, so I'm not going to go into that. But here is uh, my runes tab, my magic tab, I guess you could call it. And um, I have all the runes purchased for the full livid farm. So I got all the astrals, natures, and laws that I need. And then, of course, I just keep runes here for Slayer as well. Lots of fire and air and earth and water runes and all that good stuff. And in my next tab here, I have my potions tab. So um, I keep my summoning gear in here as well. I use giant ents every day during my tree runs. And... Pack Yaks and Bunny Ups, I use them a ton for Slayer, and I have all my potions here as well. Uh, when I got 99 Herblore, I actually had 14,000 uh, Forados Extreme Attacks left, and I have 8,000 left now, so I've actually gone through 4,000 Extreme Attacks, which is kind of crazy. That's Or 6,000, sorry, my math is terrible. I've gone through 6,000 Extreme Attacks, which is a ton. And also these vials, I didn't actually buy these. Um, for a long time, I actually used to just uh, deposit vials after each Slayer task when I was done. So I've gotten all those vials through like PVMing and Slayer and stuff. That is a ton of empty vials, I know. And this tab here used to be my Slayer tab, but now I just keep um, random stuff. I have 169 Ferocious Rings because I never use them, and so I just kind of stock up on them. And I have a Black Dragon Egg and a Blue Dragon Egg. I don't have a Red or Green because those aren't Slayer tasks, so I don't kill those dragons. And I have 69 long bones and these curved bones and perfect shells. You can turn those in for construction XP. I've just never bothered to. Um, and this is like my junk junk tab. I know I said my front tab, the first tab was my junk tab, but this is like my true junk tab. So in here is stuff that I probably will never use or at least have no intention of using for a very long time. So yeah, mostly just like random quest gear and stuff like that that I really have no use for. And this tab here is my PVM tab. So all my PVM drops, and I've also been keeping my Slayer drops in here. So um, I don't know, this tab is probably worth like 20 mil or so. Um, I did sell my Slayer tab not too long ago, and I made a video about that as well. Um, that seemed to go pretty fairly well received. So if I ever get back into Slayer again, which I will after I get uh, 99 Divination, um, I'll again start collecting drops. This is probably from about 1 mil Slayer XP or... 1.5 mil Slayer XP, so there's not a whole lot of drops in here. And uh, this next tab is my skilling tab, I guess. So I've been keeping all my um, energy from Divination here because I don't really have any need of money at the moment um, other than for farming. But uh, you can make some money off of selling these, but I've been so far behind everyone else. Like when I started collecting this Lustrous Energy, it was only selling for like 200 each, and it was really hard to find anyone to buy it. So I just figured I might as well just save it. I could use it for a bit of extra XP, but I'd rather just save it just in case the next skill coming out has a use for this energy. Then I won't have to bother with buying it from people. I'll just have it when the next skill comes out. So that's why I'm saving it. And everything else in here is mainly used for skilling, except for this Karasi sword, which should be in my junk tab. But yeah, everything else in here is for skilling. And this last tab is my combat tab. Um, so I have my gear here for Slayer and some food and stuff like that and uh, some ancient ceremonial for Nex and uh, yeah magic gear, combat gear, all that good stuff and some chitin scraps to repair my Drygors when they run out. But anyway you might be thinking um, I don't actually have a lot of wealth in my bank at the moment. Um, I have my Drygors and Bandos and stuff but if we look at my backpack I only have 10 mil cash so you might be thinking, I thought you were rich, Monkazunki. I thought you had tons of money. Um, well, that was never the case. I guess I was fairly I, fairly average for a player that has played for so long. Um, but my money at the moment is all tied up in the GE. I have about um, 400 mil invested in a massive merch that I'm doing right now, which I'm not going to be showing. But um, if, if the merch does succeed, I'll say that. I will show you guys how much money I made and what it looks like. But yeah, all my money is tied up in a massive merch that I'm not going to give away uh, any information about until I am done with it. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Thank you for it. thank you guys for watching the video. Um, hopefully you found my bank somewhat interesting. I know it's been a while since I've showed that off, and my bank has changed a little bit since my last bank video. But anyway, my internet should be working uh, fairly soon within the next couple of days, and then of course I can go back to the regular video making, and I'm really excited about that and to really test out this computer without the 
internet disconnecting every five minutes. But that's all, and uh, I guess we'll end off with join my friends chat at Monkle Zunky, and I'll see you guys in there. Farewell.